Yes, I'm not afraid to say that this nation is still undemocratic. I have not seen democracy. All I've seen is hypocrisy. I hear the cry of the poor people crying for food. Hunger that was invited by adapting the foolish ideologies of IMF and World Bank. But why should Africa be used, confused and refused, or rather forced like a bow by Europe and America? Why should we cry too loud to be left free? Of course not. I don't understand it when I see Kabila being accepted. I'm not Buyoya, I'm not Weso. What's the difference? They all took power by the bullet. Yet I see Kabila giving a hero's welcome for AU. All African traders are ready to do business with him. Is it because there is diamond in Congo which you want to share the expense of the poor people in Congo? No. I thank Mandela and Kabila for telling America that our enemies are not the same. And today, I salute Saddam for reminding America that the world will never be ruled by one nation. America, America, and you colonial. Yes, let Mobutu stand as an example to all African leaders. For one day, you may die and have not one head of state or know your family. It's about time the world woke up and see that America can produce good music, movies, and fashion. But the same time, can I produce more yet? Look at Sabine. Made you. Africa is not a testing ground for your new weapon. Uh -huh. You ask me if I'm not afraid of the prison. I'll tell you no, I'm not afraid of the prison. Looking at the living conditions of most Malawians to be in prison or outside prison makes no difference. Our country is enough punishment. Do you really want to know why? Go to the hospital and you see doctors and nurses drinking coffee when poor patients are dying and attended in the forest. And the minister responsible says nothing. Because when he's sick, you fly to the African garden city. Now go to police and you cry. You see the accused dying in jail cell like ivory chicken. You will see a policeman killed and nothing is done. All you see is the killer out on bail two days late. You see a policeman using a battle stick with criminals advanced with AK-47. Oh yes, you see the public hiding information from the police. But of course, blaming the police on the first combated crime. Try to take a bus in the M1 tarmac and you'll be delayed and saved on all the six roadblocks. Or when white people, Indians, rich people and politicians are passing with their Mercedes Benz, BMW, full of drugs and guns in the boot. All they receive is a heavy salute by the polite police. But truly, who can carry a gun on the bus? You need to know that a gun is an expensive device. So armed robbery is a crime done by the rich. Poor people may only be used in the poor. Go to education and you see money blaming candidates when examinations are stolen. Instead of looking into their own security system. You cry to see the standards of education going lower and lower for the poor people. While sons and daughters of politicians are getting quality education. Go to water bowl. They will tell you that water is a problem because of rain. Yet we sit and lose while millions of liters of clean water go to the river every hour. Just close the water board, you will see Esco, the star performer. He's blaming the poor people for environmental degradation. But with power so expensive, how do you save the trees from being used as fire?
Ati chikoni 